Day 139. 1 Chronicles 7 9. The sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, for in all. The sons of Tola, Utsi, Rephiah, Jeriel, Yamei, Ibsam, and Shemuel, the heads of their families. In the days of David, 22,600 descendants of Tola were numbered in their genealogies as mighty men of valor. The son of Utsi, Israel. The sons of Israel, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five of them were chiefs. In addition to them, according to their genealogy, they had 36,000 troops for battle, for they had many wives and children. Their kinsmen belonging to all the families of Issachar who were mighty men of valor totaled 87,000, as listed in their genealogies. The three sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beecher, and Jediel. The sons of Bela, Esben, Utsi, Utsiel, Jerimoth, and Iri, heads of their families, five in all. There were 22,034 mighty men of valor listed in their genealogies. The sons of Beecher, Zamira, Joash, Elizer, Ilioina, Omri, Jermoth, Abijah, Anadhoth, and Alameth, all these were Beecher's sons. Their genealogies were recorded according to the heads of their families, 20,200 mighty men of valor. The son of Jediel, Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan, Jush, Benjamin, Ehud, Chinana, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahishahar. All these sons of Jediel were heads of their families, mighty men of valor, there were 17,200 fit for battle. The Shuppets and Huppites were descendants of Ir, and the Hushites were descendants of Ahir. The sons of Naphtali, Yaziel, Guni, Jezer, and Shalom, the descendants of Bilha. The descendants of Manasseh, through his Aramean concubine, Asriel, as well as Machir the father of Gilead. Machir took a wife from among the Huppites and Shuppets. The name of his sister was Maka. Another descendant was named Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Machir's wife Maka gave birth to a son, and she named him Parish. His brother was named Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Rekam. The son of Ulam, Bidan. These were the sons of Gilead son of Machir, the son of Manasseh. His sister Hamolechet gave birth to Ishhad, Abizer, and Mala. And these were the sons of Shemitah, Ayin, Shechem, Laki, and Anayim. The descendants of Ephraim, Shuthila, Baird his son, Tahat his son, Elida his son, Tahat his son, Zabad his son, and Shuthila his son. Ezer and Elid were killed by the natives of Gath, because they went down to steal their livestock. Their father Ephraim mourned for many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. And again he slept with his wife, and she conceived and gave birth to a son. So he named him Beria, because tragedy had come upon his house. His daughter was Shira, who built lower and upper Beth Haran, as well as U and Shira. Additionally, Repha was his son, Reshep his son, Tela his son, Tayan his son, Laden his son, Amahad his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. Their holdings and settlements included Bethel and its villages, Naran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its villages as far as Aya and its villages. And along the borders of Manasseh were Beth Sheen, Tanach, Megiddo, and Dor, together with their villages. The descendants of Joseph son of Israel lived in these towns. The children of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, Beria, and their sister Sarah. The sons of Beria, Heber, as well as Malchiel, who was the father of Berzaith. Heber was the father of Japhlet, Shemer, and Hotham, and of their sister Shua. The sons of Japhlet, Pesach, Bimhal, and Ushvath. These were Japhlet's sons. The sons of Shemer, Ahi, Roga, Haba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam, Zapha, Imna, Shalesh, and Amal. The sons of Zapha, Suah, Harnefer, Shual, Beri, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. The sons of Jether, Jephunna, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ola, Ara, Haniel, and Rezia. All these were the descendants of Asher, heads of their families, choice and mighty men of valor, and chiefs among the leaders. The number of men fit for battle, recorded in their genealogies, was 26,000. Benjamin was the father of Bela, his firstborn, Ashbel was the secondborn, Ahara the third, Noha the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. The sons of Bela, Adar, Gera, Abahad, Abishua, Naman, Aho, Gera, Shepapan, and Huram. These were the descendants of Ehud who were the heads of the families living in Geba and were exiled to Manahath, 
Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera, who carried them into exile and who was the father of Ua and Ahiyad. Shaharim had sons in the country of Moab after he had divorced his wives Hashim and Bara. His sons by his wife Hoch, Jabab, Zabiah, Mesha, Malcam, Juz, Sachia, and Merma. These were his sons, heads of families. He also had sons by Hushim, Abitub and Elpal. The sons of Elpal, Eber, Misam, Shemd, who built Ono and Lod with its villages, and Biria, and Shema, who were the heads of families of the inhabitants of Ijalan and who drove out the inhabitants of Geth. Ahio, Shashak, Jermoth, Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishba, and Yoha were the sons of Biria. Zebediah, Meshalam, Hiski, Heber, Ishmire, Islia, and Jabab were the sons of Elpal. Jokim, Zikri, Zabdi, Elidine, Zilathai, Eliel, Adaya, Biria, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthothijah, Ephdaya, and Penuel were the sons of Shashak. Shamsharai, Shehariah, Athaliah, Jarshiah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jeroham. All these were heads of families, the chiefs according to their genealogies, and they lived in Jerusalem. Jeel the father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maka, and Abdon was his firstborn son, Benzur, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Gedur, Ahio, Zechur, and Mikloth, who was the father of Shimea. These also lived alongside their relatives in Jerusalem. No was the father of Kish, Kish was the father of Saul, and Saul was the father of Jonathan, Malchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan, Merib Baal, and Merib Baal was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Teria, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jehoda, Jehoda was the father of Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Binia. Rapha was his son, Eliezer his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names, Azrakam, Bacharu, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of his brother Eshek, Ulam was his firstborn, Jush second, and Eliphelet third. The sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and they had many sons and grandsons, 150 in all. All these were the descendants of Benjamin. So all Israel was recorded in the genealogies written in the book of the kings of Israel. But Judah was exiled to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now the first to resettle their own property in their cities were Israelites, priests, levites, and temple servants. These were some of the descendants of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem, Uthai son of Amahad, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, a descendant of Purah son of Judah. From the Shilonites, Asaiah the firstborn and his sons. From the Zerahites, Jewel and 690 relatives. From the Benjamites, Salu son of Meshalam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasanua, Ibniya son of Jeroham, Ila son of Utzi, the son of Mikri, Meshalam son of Shephisha, the son of Ruel, the son of Abnijah, and 956 of their relatives according to their genealogy. All these men were heads of their families. From the priests, Jedeah, Jehoiarab, and Jachin, Azariah son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Zadok, the son of Miraith, the son of Ahidab, the chief official of God's temple, Adaya son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah, Mase son of Adil, the son of Yazarah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Meshalemith, the son of Immer, and 1760 of their relatives, the heads of their families, able men for the work of the service of the house of God. From the Levites, Shimei son of Hashab, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabia, a descendant of Merari, Bakbakar, Harash, Galal, and Matania son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Azaph, Obadiah son of Shimea, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah son of Asa. The son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites. These were the gatekeepers, Shalom, Akab, Talman, Ahiman, and their relatives. Shalom was their chief, he was previously stationed at the king's gate on the east side. These were the gatekeepers from the camp of the Levites. Shalom son of Korah, the son of Ebiasaf, the son of Korah, and his relatives from the Korahites were assigned to guard the thresholds of the tent, just as their fathers had been assigned to guard the entrance to the dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times Phinehas son of Eliezer had been in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah son of Meshalemia was the gatekeeper at the entrance to the tent of meeting. The number of those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds was 212. 
they were registered by genealogy in their villages. David and Samuel the seer had appointed them to their positions of trust. So they and their descendants were assigned to guard the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the tent. The gatekeepers were stationed on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their relatives came from their villages at fixed times to serve with them for seven-day periods. But the four chief gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted with the rooms and the treasuries of the house of God. They would spend the night stationed around the house of God, because they were responsible for guarding it and opening it every morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in worship, to count them whenever they were brought in or taken out. Others were put in charge of the furnishings and other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the fine flour, wine, oil, frank incense, and spices. And some of the sons of the priests mixed the spices. A Levite named Mattithiah, the firstborn son of Shalom the Korahite, was entrusted with baking the bread. Some of their Kohathite brothers were responsible for preparing the rows of the showbread every Sabbath. Those who were musicians, the heads of Levite families, stayed in the temple chambers and were exempt from other duties because they were on duty day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs according to their genealogies, and they lived in Jerusalem. Jeel the father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Makkah. Abdon was his firstborn son, Benzur, Kish, Baal, Na, Nadab, Gedur, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shemim. They too lived alongside their relatives in Jerusalem. No was the father of Kish, Kish was the father of Saul, and Saul was the father of Jonathan, Malchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan, Merib Baal, who was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Malek, Tariah, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jerah, Jerah was the father of Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri was the father of Mosa. Mosa was the father of Baniah. Rephiah was his son, Elasa his son, and Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, and these were their names, Azrakam, Bacharu, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. John 6 verses 22-44 The next day, the crowd that had remained on the other side of the sea realized that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not boarded it with his disciples, but they had gone away alone. However, some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to look for him. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus replied, Truly, truly, I tell you, it is not because you saw these signs that you are looking for me, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they inquired, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus replied, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then will you perform, so that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us this bread at all times. Jesus answered, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But as I stated, you have seen me and still you do not believe. Everyone the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For it is my Father's will that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. At this, the Jews began to grumble about Jesus because he had said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were asking, Is this not Jesus? The son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How then can he say, I have come down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus replied. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day.